uh, the UN Secretary General intended response to get a clearer view on these open questions uh, with the creation of an advisory body, as stated in the roadmap for uh, digital cooperation. The Secretary General has proposed that the United Nations offer itself as a platform to convene stakeholders, be they governments, private sector, technical experts, academic civil society, around the discussion around artificial intelligence and figure out how best the international community can use this technology for the benefit of all humanity. That he would wish this body to provide guidance to the international community on artificial intelligence that is trustworthy, human rights-based, safe and sustainable, and promotes peace. It's how do we keep the entire world on the right path? So I strongly support the UN's role in this, and I think things that develop its global uh, significance would be helpful in this advisory body. Because most innovators do need very clear direction from governments in order to introduce new uh, products and services. World administrative radio conferences, it can help get nations together to set standards. And it's not a top-down process, it's a collaborative process. But I think if the stakeholders involved, corporations, governments, uh, educators, universities, and so on, all pretty much took the UN's role for granted. It was just part of the natural backdrop in 10 years. It was just assumed to be part of the ecosystem. That would be success. Uh, it's kind of an, an, as natural as breathing to have the UN providing whatever guidance or support uh, is necessary to introduce these, uh, this new technology. AI is an opportunity. AI is potential. We can grow the global economy with art with artificial intelligence however it is very difficult for me to imagine how we could realize the full potential of artificial intelligence without properly regulating the data the ai sector it's very important to understand what is ethical and what is not ethical in ai and to, and to draw clear borders of ethical innovation in artificial intelligence so we can ensure that ai is a properly employed towards the good of humanity. I believe we should start focusing on how we go about establishing a governance body for data and artificial intelligence. We need to see the results of that dialogues as clear actions that are being adopted at the international level. To me, this is what would gauge the success of this advisory board. And we really want to embrace those opportunities, learn what works well, while also, of course, taking careful note of all the, all the risks which have been discussed. And so I think this body should be looking both at the potential benefits and the risks, which is an approach which has already been embraced by um, the Centre for Data Ethics and Innovation in the UK, um, look, looking at both those possible advantages and disadvantages together. That speaks to, I think, your topic that I, I suggest that in order to make progress broadly, we actually need to go deep on a few different areas to really try to listen carefully in particular use cases. So we should pick some use cases which are um, which are key timely topics right now, but will also help to inform us as we think more generally about other topics. Would actually, in order to, to, to get something going, would be to think about the five pillars that have been uh, that have been established, trustworthiness, human rights, safety, sustainability, promotion of peace, and to help work towards uh, reliable certificates in some sense, as, as some sort of auditable uh, guarantees that technology satisfies these sorts of uh, requirements, which will then enable cross-border use of technologies to, to flourish.